I want to share a little trick that I learned not long ago about how to clean up and, and keep your email inbox very clean and organized. Come on back just a second. Hello and welcome to this week's Andy's Point of View. Listen, not long ago, about six months ago or so, I learned about this concept called Zero Inbox. It was interesting because I had an inbox that probably had about 1,200 emails there that were really important and I didn't want to lose, that I was going to get to at some point in time. Now when I look back at some of the earlier emails that I was keeping in my inbox, it was interesting, some of them dated back to 2014. So they've been there for three years. Realistically, if I'm not gonna get to it in three, you know, it, it, within three years, I'm never going to get to it. So I learned about Zero Inbox. Zero Inbox works like this, is you create a few simple folders. So uh, that in, in every time you go in your inbox, you go into your inbox with the intention of bringing it down to zero. Now as you're going through your emails, you have a few different folders so the process look, looks like this once you open up an email you make a decision if it's junk you just archive it or, or, or delete it but if it's something that is important if it can be dealt with within two minutes do it right away if it can't it goes into one of the other folders so the first one is end of day so the first folder is end of day. You go in there, it's something you need to do today, but I'm not gonna to get to it right now. You put it in the end of day folder, and that you plan you know, 4.30, before you go home, leave the office at five or 5.30, you then take the time to go through your end of day folder. So end of day is your first folder. The second one is end of week. It's something you need to get to, but it does not need to be done today. You're gonna to get to it by the end of the week. Make sure you block the time in your calendar and on Friday afternoon to take care of those things. The third one is follow-up. Now that is when you, you receive an email, you reply back, you're engaging in some sort of discussion either with outside people or people within your team and you reply back but you want to make sure you follow up on that. You don't want it to drop off your radar altogether. Drop it into your follow-up folder and that way there once a week, once every couple weeks you can kind of look at that keep an eye on that folder every once in a while and make sure that everything's being taken care of. The fourth one is casual reading. We all get these email newsletters into our email box that we like. A lot of them are junk, but we like a lot of them too. And But we don't have time to read them right now. So I drop the ones that I wanna read into this casual reading folder. And then when I'm sitting waiting for an appointment or waiting for a flight or whatever the case may be, I'll open that up and I'll start going through them. Now the trick with the casual reading one is once a quarter, go through that and anything that's older than three months, just delete it. Really just delete it. Might be some gold, some inf great information in there, but if you haven't touched it in three months, there's a lot more content coming in that's useful that you can consume. So anything older than three months, just delete it, get it out of that, that folder. Now those four folders, Using Gmail is what I use. You know, use your keyboard shortcuts. You know, I open up an email and I hit a, one key and it'll open up the folders. I hit number one for end of day, number two for end of week, number three for follow up, and number four for casual reading. So it's just hit one key, number one, enter, and it disappears out of my inbox. And I'll go back to that in that appropriate folder at a later date. That way there, it literally, I can blast through 20 emails. If I haven't looked at my emails in a half an hour, an hour, or whatever the time frame, I can blast through 20 emails in just a few minutes, really, really quickly. And it's a good feeling when you leave the office and that inbox has a little smiley face that says you're done. So that's a little tip for that uh, way that's kept me very efficient. And hopefully it'll be helpful for you as well. That's this week's Andy's Point of View. my copy don't touch okay so just roll in okay I'm gonna share with that share that with you in just a moment I'll do that over again